All right, Dean, a lot going on, although things are starting to quiet down a little bit now. But we want to start with this, my friend. You got to check out this video. These guys now are going to try to take down a rather large tree, okay? Oh. Now, look how small the gap is that they're working into. Yes, you're seeing it right there. You got a house on the left, a shed on the right. You mean they're going to try to drop it between they're the house and the shed? They're going to drop it between the two houses. It's absolutely unbelievable, okay? So here we go, shoving in some of the supports there because they've got to get this thing perfect. Yeah. So it's one of these deals where literally they don't have a foot on either side. The question is, will they be able to do it? Well, I mean, these guys, they look like pros. There's no question. And they, they, got, the, they got some little wedges in there. It looks like it's good. Look at this guy's going back for another wedge. This could be the key because if he gets it just in the right spot, it'll go. Yes! <laughs> Come on! That is incredible. Yes! You should have that reaction. Yeah. That is unbelievable. Yeah. Those are some experienced lumberjacks. Yeah, you can tell. That's those yeah. guys like from the Northwest. They're not even trying that unless they really know what they're doing. Yeah, exactly right. Do they, I mean, he, can he really be that shocked that they pulled it off? Because he's pretty good. I mean, that was great. And by the way, the second time through, you hear the great music. Just a get along to the rendezvous. Okay, good enough. Let's move on. But, hey, not bad. All right, downtown Albuquerque. Got some clouds out there earlier, as we said. But now things quieting down as far as the showers go here in the city. And, in fact, all we're really seeing is some scattered stuff across southwestern portions of the state here. A couple more showers into east and west central areas, but most of it now west central areas. And as we get up over the northern mountains, grabbing a couple showers, things have cleared out across southwestern Colorado at this point. Temperature right now, 78 degrees in the metro area. Winds are out of the south right now at 9 miles an hour. And as we check out the temps across the rest of the state, 60s and 70s to the north. Meanwhile, down to the south, 60s, 70s, and 80s. Looking at the satellite and radar here, a wider view shows pretty good moisture plume actually south of New Mexico and Arizona. And over the next couple of days, we will fire off a few more storms that are at least going to make things interesting here. So I'll put things into motion, show you what's going on. High pressure, which has been over us and sort of limiting our storms, although still allowing for plenty of moisture to come up at times here, will slowly get pushed on out of here over the next few days and as it is we'll see the chance for showers now diminish slightly into the weekend but then make a big time comeback into next week and what's going on here is we have a cold front and a powerful cold front that's actually going to come in next week and that could well jack up our moisture chances way up again more showers across the area and it does look like next week could be a really interesting week could feel a little bit a little bit like fall, which is odd to say for the month of July, but it is a possibility here. And we'll break down that more in your full forecast in our next half hour. But what we're looking at here is the possibility of grabbing temperatures that will top out in the low 70s in the northeast next week. We'll get to that region in a second. 80s across southern Colorado, scattered showers. Northwest, a few storms will be a possibility over the next couple of days and through the weekend as well. Meanwhile, over to the southwest, afternoon thunderstorms, temperatures in the 80s and 90s. And that shot of showers continues well into next week, too. Now, as you get over to the southeast, better chance of showers emerges next week. Through the weekend, looks pretty quiet with temperatures topping out in the mid-90s. Check out the northeast, low 80s through Sunday into Monday. But look at Tuesday, 72 for a high in the northeast with cool air in place and some showers. Northern mountains, same deal. We're going to top out in the 70s, and believe me, it's going to get cool in the northern mountains Tuesday and Wednesday morning. Our high mountain communities could end up in the high 30s, which sounds ridiculous to say this time of year. 87, Cedar Crest, 87, Edgewood, 84, and Mountain Air, hit and miss storms, and finally right here in the metro. Temperatures right around 90 tomorrow. A few showers. We've done well over the past few days. We've got a chance to get a few more. Extended forecast here in the metro, too. When's the last time we said, nah, we may top it out at 80 degrees on Tuesday? It'll be a nice cool, cool down. Yep. We're going to feel that. It's yeah, definitely going to feel that temp, especially early in the morning on Wednesday. Could be in the low 50s. Good stuff, Mark. Thank you.